Now I'm just going to show you some of my desk organization that you can do inside of your desk drawers even if they aren't very large in size. This, These particular drawers are not very big organizational video. I just keep the essentials in here, things that I use over and over on a daily basis. Um, I don't like to keep too much inside of my drawers, <laughs> my desk drawers. That word sounds really weird saying it. but. Yes, inside of the drawer, uh, I just keep my pens, of course. I showed these on a previous video, my gold pens, and I purchased these from Staples. And I just keep paper clips that I use on a daily basis. Tags as well, safety pens, I do use those because I do sew. And paper clips as well. This is a cleaning cloth for my computer over here that I keep folded inside of there. Pencils, in case if I need to do any drawing, sketches, or anything like that. Other pencil also, and this is just really cute, and I like this one. Uh, these particular pencils from Staples as well, a few years back. I think they have gone on clearance since then because I tried to find them again, and they no longer have them. These were from the Cynthia Rowley collection. And I brought several packs of them, but I really, really like them, and I use them a lot. Uh, so I wanted to get some extra ones, but again, they were out. They aren't selling them anymore. And of course, I use tape uh, normally, daily basis, weekly basis. Of course, my calculator. You always want to calculate your gains. Hopefully, no losses. <laughs> and it just happens to be gold. And I featured this in a previous haul as well. These are can openers for paint because I do paint a lot or when I have to go to someone's house and we're doing something uh, with paint, I like to keep this with me and I always take them with me. I keep my charger in here as well and it has four different ports so I can charge multiple things at one time and it is pink of course. <laughs> And of course my staples and I just keep them tucked away in a nice little box. You can find these little boxes here, these little jewelry boxes is what it actually is. Remember alternative uses for things. This particular box came from Michaels and I like to keep them concealed because I don't want them out. You can't prick your finger, but I just don't want to see them. Then of course my notepad, jotting down quick notes, what have you, reminders for myself as well. I do use sticky notes, but I keep them inside of a box that sits on top of the desk. And of course, my little trinket tree, which makes it a, its way around the room all the time. And I like to open up my desk drawer too and see it, be happy always. So if I happen to pop off a piece of jewelry, if I am sewing and working with delicate fabrics and I don't snag it, I can always toss my jewelry right here in the tray and sit it inside of the drawer. And you also seen the tape measure. Well, not tape measure, but a ruler. <laughs> I just call it a tape measure. But it is a ruler, it happens to be gold. And um, I like this as well. This was a Friday Fab favorite find as well. And I keep it right here in my drawer. Easy for me to grab. And I like to keep things in my drawers that are use on a daily basis, weekly basis, all the time, so that I can see them, I can grab them easily, I don't have to go in my other storage areas to find them, uh, to get them. They're right here and easy to use. And also, these little trays you can find in many different places. You can find these traces in trays in many different places as well. This particular tray I found, I believe it was Home Goods, but you can go to places like Staples, TJ Maxx, Walmart, all your stores, and find items like this to use for storage. And it just was compact enough and shallow enough to fit inside of my particular drawer. Inside the drawer, as you can see here, I lined it with just some fabric. I didn't want to paint the interior of it. It is wood. And I didn't want to paint the interior of it uh, if I decide one day I don't want it in a painted form. I want to restain it. I can always have the interior still the same particular color, but the bottom of it is lined in a nice pretty color. I use fabric 
and this particular fabric because it's nice and textured because the items don't slide around on it. They always stay right in their spot. I don't have to worry about them moving. So whenever I open and close my drawer, as you can see, they stay in place. This drawer, as you can see, now you can see this particular drawer, the second one, houses also utilitarian things that I use all the time. My chargers, the actual cords, the different ones, uh, seam rippers, if you are a seamstress. You know what this is you can take the seams out of anything that you want to take it from uh, clothing pillows curtains or whatever if you make a mistake while you are sewing and I keep two of them in here and also I keep my different scissors for the different uses the fabrics and the vinyls and the papers I keep those in here as well and um, my straight pins and they happen to be pink and I keep two boxes of these because I use these all the time. And again, I like to keep things in my drawer. I use all the time. Um, yeah, it's a dollar bill in here. Just never know when you might need a dollar, I suppose. <laughs> but it stays here all the time. I don't know why. But yes. And then I keep thank you cards. I told you I really like thank you cards. And I like to give thank you cards um, to people as well. They don't have anything in here. So you can make your own personal note on the inside and my other thank you cards as well and also I keep my gratitude journal in here and I write down daily things that I am grateful for and such and put that all in here and I uh, more thank you cards and also this is just a card that I don't know if you can see that this is a card that my mom gave me and it is very special to me and so I keep it on hand because I always go back and I look at it and I read it and it, the words in it are just beautiful and I just like to keep it close to me all the time so again this is a area that I use all the time and I like to have things on hand that are very functional for me and that I use on a daily basis so yeah this is just a tour of my storage compartments for my desk, <laughs> instead of saying drawers. And again, thank you for joining me, everybody, here with Chanel and taking the tour of my desk storage compartments. <laughs> again, I don't like to say the word drawers. It just sounds weird saying taking a tour of my drawers, but yeah, my desk storage compartments and seeing the way that I have them organized and things that I use on a daily basis and you can use some of these practical ideas just to keep in your organization so these things that I have incorporated in my organizational area for my desk as well in your space uh, keeping just the simple things things that you just use on a daily basis um, and it keeps down the clutter. It keeps your desk nice and clean, your area very functional. And I think clearing the clutter just helps you to clear the mind, keep the mind clear so you can function well throughout your day. And again, thank you. Don't forget to share, leave me a comment, and you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next one.